Hi, it's me again with Pro Doll Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this uh, bitmap. You can see it's a bitmap right there. It's basically black and white, which makes it pretty good. But you can tell it's a bitmap because of the bounty box around it. And you can also, and we're, before I do that, I'm going to make this thing. It's not that big, but I'm going to make it smaller. I think Corel has a, a better time, makes it a little bit easier. And we can take a yellow box trick, go up to object, order, back a page, and you can see the bounty box. But, so there's two ways to look at this. He wanted to cut it out. I've got a red hairline, so you could cut the whole thing out and engrave the black, or you could just cut the whole thing out. So this is just a outline of that, so you could engrave and cut it. This you could cut out of one piece of wood I think they're going to, he said something about a door hanger. So we got it small. We're not going to do anything to it, but go ahead and just outline trace clip art. And that quickly it did it. I'm going to move it over. And you can still see the white background inside. And that's what he couldn't, he couldn't get rid of. Well, you can't do anything until you trace it. Because now it's a vector. We're going to go to object group and ungroup. And that quick, you've got a vector graphic. And if we zoom in and look at it, it's good, clean, sharp lines. But looking at the two ways to do it, I'm going to set my, let's see this thing. Let's make it a little bigger. Uh, it's less than five inches. We're going to set our nudge factor on five. And we're going to make a duplicate of that by hitting the plus key on the keyboard. And then on this one, we're going to go to object and break the curve apart. And look what it did. But I wanted to do that. Because now I can put an outline around it. A boundary. And look at this. Now I can nudge it over. I'll nudge it over again. Just so you can see it. We'll make it red. And this would be your cut line. If you wanted to engrave and cut this out. You can hardly see it. You can really see it better when you zoom out. And you can tell your, let's just nudge something out of the way. And there's our boundary. And then if you wanted to have a little bit of, say you're going to cut this out of wood. If you wanted to have a little bit of wood, you could go to effects and contour. Just contour to the outside, like 0.1. That might be a little bit too much, but it's okay. Break contour apart. And also, let's do this. See this sharp edge? That'd be pretty much a no-no. So let's back up and let's contour it with rounded corners. Now we don't get that sharp edge. Let's take it and break the contour apart. And now we can actually turn this one red. Red signifies a, into laser world, or at least my laser world, a cut line. So now we have a cut line around that. If you didn't want it, cut it right on the money. Now, the other way he, I'm thinking he's wanting to go, is we're going to make sure this is just, doesn't have anything on it. We're just going to left click, right click, and that will cut out because it's a solid, and you can always tell if it's going to cut out by taking the Smart Fill tool and filling it in. And if it does that, it'll cut out because it's got lines on both sides. Now, you know, depending on how big this is, you got to think about strength. Uh, they were saying something about like a door hanger, so you know, maybe let's say 15 inches. So you've got pretty good strength there. You'd need to, you know, make a hole here to uh, hang it on, and you got to think about weight. And you know, there's it's pretty equal. So you got to think about where you're going to put your weight if you put it. Up here, it might lean to the left. You could put it more here. And the way to make a hole in this would be to do that. Make it red. Make sure it's a hairline. And then that will cut out. Put your yarn or whatever through there. But every piece will cut out. And you kind of prove that with a, a virtual or the smart fill tool. There's your hole. 
Hope that answered his questions and thank you for watching.